Hi, I'm Regina, and you are you. Um, how is everybody? Um, I'm doing okay, you know, going a little crazy, tired of watching YouTube videos about coronavirus or YouTube videos about politics or any of those other things, you know. I do watch a lot of YouTube videos about music, but, um, you know, just kind of getting tired of it all. And and my friend Diana was talking about not having coffee with me this week. And, and so I think maybe I should get on here and, and have something to say. And I've been sitting here thinking, I got nothing to talk about. You know, I always talk, go for that heavy subject, you know, and and so I was talking to a friend on the phone last night or on on Skype, and and uh, I started quoting some Ram Dass thing, and and oh, I just butchered it, butchered it, and here it is. It was like, this is the real thing. This is what's on my calendar that's on the wall. It says, look at the people you don't love and you see them as an exercise for you to open your heart. And that was, you know, that was pretty heavy stuff there. And, and, but it's so true. You know, I'm, I'm like the love and compassion gal and, and, uh, you know, <clears throat> There's lots of people I don't love out there, but there's a lot of people that I still have to give respect to and treat them the way that I want to be treated. Otherwise, they'll treat me poorly. And, and so, you know, they might treat me poorly anyway but I still have to find in my heart that ability to show them respect and, and, and kindness and, oh, mercy. In, in this divided world we have today, when, when you got people talking trash all around us, and, and this is really a challenge you know, um, but, you know, I've been trying to practice this for a few years now, and I find that it's really pretty easy. Um, I still have trouble with the current administration, don't get me wrong. While I don't like them, and I'm not very respecting of that, um, I recognize the fact that a lot of that is my problem, you know, and the only person who can change anything in my life, in my world, is me. You know, we often talk about what's going to make us happy. Well, I'll tell you what makes me happy, and that's me, you know. Happiness is an inside job. And if I'm filling my insides up with disrespect, hate, and any other negative force that I'm exuding out into the world, I'll tell you what, I am not going to be very happy. But if I fill my insides up with positive energy, gratitude and and those forces of love then I have a chance and, and when I find that I don't love somebody then this is an opportunity to explore my depths and figure out what I can do to at least bring myself back to center, uh, you know, not an easy task always, because I certainly have 
ideas about the way things should be in this old world and and trust me there's not very much of the way i think it should be that's being played in this country and and so um you know it's really neither here nor there i need to take a look at myself and see how um <clears throat> to correct that and and that can be taken down a level you know to the to the haters out there you know if we're freaking hating them back we're part of the problem and and uh the solution is all about being respectful to even our enemies and and um you know, and it doesn't matter how they treat us, you know, we still have to, to, you know, and, and this, this brings on controversy. You know, I, I said something one time on Facebook, made some comment on some, some page in, in the next town over, and man, I got hammered by you, boy, we got to fight this, and, and, oh, mercy, you know. There's an old adage that my grandmother taught me that is you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. And, and uh, you know, some of these old wives' tales I've come to find in my life are pretty much true. You know, vinegar don't get you much. A little a sour puss, you know? Um, so anyway, you know, I've rattled on long enough about all of this, but, you know, the truth of it is, is happiness is an inside job. And um, it's up to us, each of us individually, to make ourselves happy. You know, what's that going to take? I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you what it's not. It's not material goods. And it's not hate. So... What does that leave? You think about that. What does that leave? You know, I've done a lot of things in my life and and I have had a lot of money and I have been poor and I have had happiness and I have not. And I'll tell you what, the happiness came because of the work that I did in here. And um, so, Anyway, y'all have a good day and uh, keep drinking that coffee. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I've enjoyed having this conversation with you and hey, I'll see you a little further on down the road. Give me a like, subscribe, leave me some comments. Take care now. Love you. Bye-bye.